Hello learners, this is Excel with Habiba and the Sociological Foundation of Education today's topic is Socialization of the Child. Before understanding about the socialization of the child, let's understand what is socialization. According to J.S. Ross, socialization is the development of we feeling in associates and the growth in their capacity and will act together. That means we should have the feeling of acting with others and the feeling of togetherness. Another definition related to socialization of the child, having hearst and new garden defined socialization is the process of by which children learn the ways of their society and make these ways part of their own personality excellent definition here we can easily understand socialization means mingling with other people without any problem and developing their own personality or growing up with the other people now society makes a child social obviously that means uh, related to society the child becomes a part of it the cooperation of society plays an important part to socialize the child. In a society, an individual or an institution has the task of making a child worth being a part of it. These individuals or institutions are called agents of socialization. It is these agents that are responsible for educating an individual about the expectations of society from him and how he should fulfill them. Now let's understand what are those agents of child socialization, agents of child socialization. Now number one, family. For children, the process of socialization begins in the family itself. Family is the first source or first school we can say source through which child commence their social communication. Child starts speaking and talking to mother, father, siblings and the other people. Things such as competition, conflict and cooperation as well as the concept of hierarchy and egalitarianism can be learned and combined through a peer group. So, first one is family. Family is the agent, first agent. Now, secondly, school. Children spend about 7 to 8 hours in school. So, school bears an important and lifelong impact on their socialization process. In school, children belonging to different families read together interact various patterns and imbibe various traditions of society. So besides this, their participation in educational and social functions of the school also inculcates in children social qualities, attitudes, habits and patterns of behavior which brings about their socialization obviously. Then the third one is religion. It is the most powerful agent of socialization of a child. Each religion has its specific virtues, rituals, dogma and cosmologies. So, as the child interacts belonging to his own religion and people having faith in other religions, this interaction inculcates in him sympathy, cooperation, respect for the sentiment of others, fellow feeling attitude of adjustment leading to socialization in the true sense of them, true sense of the term. Now the next one is mass media. These are methods of communication that direct message and entertainment at a wide audience, newspaper, magazines, television, radio, the internet and movies all are forms of ma mass media. So, numerous sociological studies attest to the profound influence of mass media on socialization of children. The next one is games and sports. Every child is fond of play. Obviously, even elders also like to play uh, 
there is no age bonding here we are talking about a child games and sports every child is found of play there is more effective interaction in games and sports than in organized teaching in a class when child plays they inculcate various social qualities namely sympathy cooperation fellow feeling selfless service sacrifice team spirit and many other socially desirable values develop in children to make their socialization more effective and purposeful as the child grows older he learns number of socially desirable qualities namely love sympathy tolerance and cooperation etc so it is vital how parents treat their children and also how parents behave in front of them because it is through these interactions the ch the child will a child will perceive and develop a sense of self there is no denying fact that family is the fountain head of the socialization process now the next one is peer groups that is after the family peer groups that's friends are like a wider and enlarged family a peer group is a group of people of approximately the same age sharing similar interests and probably belonging to similar background peer groups of a child may include his schoolmates his friends at the sports club and the children staying in his neighborhood so even through all these groups are different he may mingle with them every single day it enables a child to engage in experiences which he or she would otherwise never experience within his or her family so these are all the agents of socialization where child learns how to mingle capacity building personality development proper growth uh, finding what is true what is false all these are inculcated through these agents of socialization now sociological aspects of education let's understand here firstly learning is a creative experience when a man responds to stimulate he acts in a creative manner in other words education is a creative act for the learner secondly education is of two ways of learning such as informal education and formal education that is formal education is a, a socially devised technique a highly elaborated procedure for creating situations in which the pupil may learn individuals go through formal education only a short period of their life going to the school college universities etc then the fourth one education is both the living of life in the network of social relationship in the classroom and outside and the preparation for life we can say that is preparation of life involves capacity to earn a livelihood capacity to enrich one's life through enjoyment of the cultural heritage and of one's inner resources thirdly capacity to function efficiently and constructively as a member of society as a citizen of the state so lastly fifth one education involves mastery of the tools of learning such as reading writing arithmetic and mastery of our relations to our inner self to our neighbor to the universe so these are the social aspects of education uh, uh, education as social institution plays a vital role in our society the function of education is multi dimensional we can say uh, and also within the school system and outside it performs the function of socializing the individual for a variety of social roles and development of personality it is also an important part of the control mechanism of society education is a necessity right from the simple society to modern complex industrial society now lastly education and different aspects of society firstly man is a social animal 
he cannot maintain his existence without society so he creates society so society is not simply an assembly of a few or many persons certain things are necessary to convert an assembly to society so this is the education and different aspect of society then the aim of the society what is the aim of the society the aim of the society is very extensive instead of being limited there uh, and there is a feeling of stability in this aim society has its own ideals it is the duty of every member to preserve it the sphere of the society is so wide that all the activities of human life are included in it a society should be conducting some such social units for safeguarding such common interests which may keep alive the feeling of unity in that geographical unit then responsibility of education of the child lies on both state and society in the social system of a country like russia the state shoulders the entire responsibility of the education of the child in democratic countries although the direct responsibility is that of the society and it manage the education of the child through different educational institutions but ultimately its responsibility falls on the state then family school assemblies and also state are different units of the society all these have their impact on the child this impact has an important place in the development of the child besides the formal education of the school the child learns many things informally from the social environment it is the duty of the society to make the child social and this duty of the members of the society to make the child social and this duty they should fulfill in a manner that the child does not face any difficulty in his socialization so this is about the socialization of the child the well known educational philosopher john dewey in my pedagogical creed in the year 1897 expressed his belief that the school is primarily a social institution education being a social process so this is about the child socialization i'll come up with the next class in the next video if you like the class please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning